So, so, so you're gonna you're gonna start with with a for one little fillet like I have here. I got about three ounces of, of crab meat. This came out of uh, out of a can by uh, Phillips Company, um, and, and this is the claw meat. And you want to run that through your fingers and kind of shred it, and you're gonna feel for any small bones. The people that pick crab up there in Alaska and in Maryland and places like that are very, very good at what they do. God, I couldn't imagine doing that for eight hours a day, five days a week. But they still miss a few things, so you want to make sure that you're not got any of this the cellulose. It's it's a clear cartilage basically for a crab. So you're gonna mince that just with your fingers. Add a little bit of diced red bell pepper. And then some Old Bay, about two tablespoons of Old Bay. All right, so we got, we got the skillet on about 350. We're gonna put a little olive oil on there. I'm gonna take my piece of grouper and I'm just gonna rub this right on top and try and make it as thin as I can. Just really pressing on it. Right? Got, it, got all my crab just kind of smeared on there. Okay. Just really smeared on there. And then we're just going to flip it crab side down onto the skillet. Now the best way, it's going to look very uh, dark, almost very caramelized on the outside. Um, almost like a, a corned beef hash skin on it. And, and that's what you're looking for. At that point, you have two choices. You can flip it over and cook it another four minutes, or you can flip it over and put it on a sheet pan and put it in your oven for about 10 minutes and just kind of let it slowly finish off. You basically want the middle of your fish where it's still um, tender and flaky. Flaky. You don't want it to shrivel up and, and get dry on you. So while that's cooking, we're going to work on our Parmesan sauce. some fresh oregano in here couldn't find it there for a second again you want just the leaves oh, didn't like that one fresh oregano so we're, we're gonna rip that up and put pan got a little hot So between uh, fresh basil, fresh oregano, it needs to be in any Italian sauce, right? So the same thing, you can heat these up, you can add them in late, you can add them in late in cooking and it'll keep their oils together. Um, I like to toast mine and get them infused in the sauce. I'll work a little bit faster. That was more dried oregano. So you ought, to, you ought to smell that starting to come up here pretty soon. Can everybody see it? Can, can you see that up there? So, so. Hey, Tom. <laughs> So at this point, you can put this into the oven about 350, probably for about 10 minutes, and you would be fine. I've got the herbs, the garlic, some. Just leave it like that for about 10 minutes. So I've got oregano and basil and garlic and and olive oil in there. Okay, that's good. No. Okay, that's good. That's not yeah. not not. You just take it like that, and then and then some some. Re Red tomato sauce. And I'm, and I'm, I'm just going to cook those down for, for a little bit. I'm pretty sure you could add some wine in there if you like. Okay. So, so check this out, you got, you got your red sauce with all the herbs and the garlic and olive oil 
and you're just going to put a little bit of, across your fish. Add some Parmesan cheese, some mozzarella cheese, throw that in the oven, or bring out your torch. <laughs> <laughs>